Welcome to the great HR how to video series. In this video, we will talk about how to create category list using Data Share Hub from your great HR account. Data Share Hub refers to a center where the users can share or exchange data with each other. By users we mean all the admin users like the payroll service providers also known as PSPs who provide payroll services to their customers. The other type of users are the customers or clients who depend on the PSPs for payroll reports of their employees. The Great HR Data Share Hub module provides a secure and reliable data sharing process to protect the sensitivity of the shared information. In this video, we will learn how to set up a category for inputs and configure the cutoff dates for the customers. So let's get started by navigating to the Data Share Hub module. Under Setup, click on Category. On this page, you will view a few existing category cards. Otherwise, this will be a blank page prompting you to create a category. The Input tab displays the list of input cards the customer needs to provide, and the Output tab displays the list of outputs that the PSP needs to provide to the customers. Click here to create a category. Then choose the category type as input. Kindly note that you can select input to request data from your customers and output to provide data to your customers. Enter a category name and also add a description. Here you can assign users and upload a sample if required. Please note that you can assign as many users as you want. Select the status as active. Please note that by default, the status will be active, but if you do not want your customers to view the created category, then click on inactive. Click on save, and then confirm. You can also edit the created category by clicking here. Once the category is created, you can configure the cutoff date for the customers to upload the inputs. Navigate to the log configuration page. On this page, you can view the list of categories and the cutoff dates set for them. Click here to create a new configuration. Select the same category type and name you created while creating the category. Please note that you can set the cutoff date for all categories at a time by selecting Select All. Choose a payroll month and set a cutoff date. Don't forget to save. Please note that if the cutoff date is passed, the customers cannot upload the new files. You can also edit or delete the cutoff date by clicking here. With the detailed explanation, I hope you can create categories for inputs and configure the cutoff dates. With that, we come to an end. Please like and subscribe to this channel for updates about our upcoming videos.